Right, welcome to this video. This is just a quick video to show you the use of my 32 button box which I have built in a previous video. Don't forget to check that out. Just want to show you it functioning with a piece of software. We're using DCS Digital Combat Simulator. So I'm going to load up a mission here with a F-15 running from cold and dark and show you it starting up using the program switches on my 32 button box. Here it goes. So we just load up the simulator here. As you can see here we are in our F-15C. This is from the Flaming Cliffs 3 series and we'll take a look outside everything is off at the moment so we're going to power this all up using the 32 button switch box so you can see I've made a few changes on this since the build whereas I was using toggle switches a lot here I've replaced them with these um, momentary switches which makes it easier to program for DCS uh, with the toggle switches you need to go through some elaborate programming in the configuration files of DCS so that the software knows what the status is of the switch so whether or not it's on or off. With using momentary push button switches it, it doesn't matter you just program the switch for whatever system you want as soon as you press it it takes it as one push if you press it again it takes it as another push so you can use a simple on off feature like you do with a keyboard anyway without further ado let's uh, go into the cockpit now and uh, I can get that screen where you can see it nicely and we're gonna start it up now we need to turn on the electrics I've programmed these to my master battery switch there you are the electrics come on uh, canopy I've programmed to a momentary push button here for canopy, so I'll just press that now. See the canopy's coming down. Just spin this around here. And I've programmed one of the mini toggles up here for my nav lights. So we can turn on our nav lights. Now if we flick back inside, go back inside to the cockpit, we do an engine start. Now if you can see the dials, zoom in slightly. These are our engine dials here. And I'm going to now start up the right hand engine using this missile style toggle switch. And you'll see the RPMs increase and the internal turbine temperature will start to increase there it goes now temperatures rising should get to go above 500 degrees and then it will drop down and should settle around 500 There we are, about 500. Now if we start the left hand engine up. Again with the other missile style toggle switch. You see the RPM should start to rise in a moment. Here it goes. that's settled we'll uh, just taxi out for a takeoff okay just get that lined up now and let's uh, taxi her out bring up the power
tension on this joystick is just a little bit too much, I think. Need to uh, sort that out, especially on the rudder. And so there's 32 functions on here, um, and it's the overlay where I've got the backlighting is actually designed for the uh, Microsoft FSX for a Boeing 737-800 but you can program the buttons for whichever aircraft you're using and I might actually try and design an overlay so that it can you can have each individual overlays, uh, overlays uh, specific to a certain aircraft so I can just pop that over the top and it's already got labelled what the switches are for for that aircraft. So I'm flying the F-15C here, but I've also got a A-10. Most of the functions for these military aircraft are actually in your HOTUS controls or your joystick controls but a lot of the extra ones you can program into this switch box let's just get up in line here for a moment I've programmed the landing gear and the flaps as well into the switch box Just get onto the runway threshold and put the brakes on. take you to the outside view just to show you the flaps button. See the flaps are in the up position at the moment using the button here on the, on the 32 button box I can lower my flaps. There we go, flaps are down and again the landing gear is here programmed a few other switches in here engine shutdown, uh, fuel pod jettison but there's, there's no end to what you can program him in for. OK, let's just go for a quick take-off now. So I'm just going to hold the wheel brakes on, start bringing the power up. OK, wheel brakes off. Take the pressure off the tyres. external that where you can see it so using the button box again landing gear up and turn the nav lights off and back to internal Let's level off a bit bring that power back Break the video there and then I'll come back to you as we're on approach for landing.
tour around the F15. Beautiful. Gear down. Go externally now, show you shutting it down. External, so it flaps up, air brakes off, put our nav lights back on, and now we'll taxi.
get down there as quick as possible. I know these things are so far away. Should keep your taxi speed down to about 10 knots. But uh, we're in a hurry to park up. came in a little bit fast there so I had to miss one of the taxi turn offs Then we go back to our switch box and do an engine shutdown. Spin you around so you get a good look at that. And we do engine shut off. Turn our nav lights off. enjoyed that thanks for watching don't forget to check out the build of the 32 button switch box here um, new version coming shortly thanks again don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time on Togatech